Okay, welcome back. Um, sorry for the wait, I guess. It's been a while. Um, I did say that I was going to take a quick break before commencing with this war, and it's actually been about four weeks, so um, a bit longer than expected. But I'm back now, so let's see if we can't uh, win this war. Um, there are probably going to be a few things that I was going to do that I've forgotten about. But what I do remember is that I'm going to war with the Safarids, and that's pretty much all I need to know, I think. So that's what we're going to deal with. Right, let's go. Speed it up a little because it takes so long to get between provinces. I was going to go slow because I'm in the middle of a big important war, but oh well. Um, that's mountain, so I don't actually want to attack him there. So it's fine if he decides to leave. Right. He's gone there. Really? We should be going here. Just try and take the provinces. If we don't have to fight him, then we won't lose any men. And if we don't lose men, then we'll be alright when somebody inevitably counterattacks us. Which somebody inevitably will. Or somebody will join his war. So who's this guy? The Habari, they're not very powerful. Kingdom of Sindh, yeah, they've got... Yeah, whatever, really. Not too worried about that. Also, if I don't attack his army, he's less likely to release and re-raise it. Um, the AI is better at doing that now, but they're still not great at it, as long as they've still got an army. It's only when they get really low that they bother to do it, so we'll just stick like this for now. Um, although I've become incapable. I was infirm before and I've become incapable, so I didn't I had forgotten that that had happened already. It looks like I'm not long for this world, but that's fine. Because I've already declared my war. Whew, technology. Ah. Looks like he's going to get an army together to try and oppose me. Um, the Jews are getting rid of my culture or something. I'm sure that's exactly what that message said. Oh, it looks like he's also at war with the Salmonids. Was he at war with the Salmonids before? Probably. <laughs> this is one of those things which, like I said, I'm just completely forgetting. Right. Finish that siege, and we're going to attack him here. He's confident. Partially he's confident because my army is lacking commander. So what have we got? Guy, guy, guy. We should be okay in this battle. We might lose a lot more people than I want to. Or we might not. That went fairly well, actually. And he's retreating, but that's okay. We'll come back. If I seem a little slow today, it's because I am incredibly warm. My room has essentially turned into a sauna. 
um, because I get the morning sun and well it's quite warm weather at the moment anyway at the moment at the moment at the moment at the moment you see what I mean my brain is a little bit fried but there we are um, like I should unpause and things Sorry about this. Okay. Right, one down. Now he's unlikely to surrender until I get him to um, a hundred percent, but that's fine. We can deal with that. So he's coming back to try and siege it away from me. Granddaughter, that's nice. Rot. Like I say, I'm going to let him do that, I think. Because I don't want to waste too many men fighting him in the mountains. Um, it was okay when it was in the desert, but even though I outnumber him mm, three, three to one, I guess. Um, four to one, maybe. No, sorry, I'm, I'm speaking nonsense. Uh, three to one. Um, I just, yeah, it doesn't seem like good numbers to me, so, I'm surprised I can't get another retinue yet, how big is it, okay, okay, let him rot, do we have any valuable prisoners, we do, we have this guy, 26 gold, Valuable to the man in Kerman, but not valuable to the war effort, so there's no sense keeping him around. And 10 gold for him. Okay. I might go fight him, actually. My Mobad has died, so let's get a new Mobad. Uh, we've probably got religious problems. We've got a lot of religious problems, so stop leading the armies. Proselytize random. Uh, is he going to escape? He's going to escape, which means he might get to the desert, and I might be able to fight him in Yazd, which would be great, because then I should be able to just... Dis oh no! It looks like he's not going to escape anymore because this other army decided to try and pick a fight. Oh well. Didn't lose too many men. Capture the prisoner. And he surrenders. Yes, I like that. Bam. Right, okay. Give me a second, I'm just going to pause the game to sort out all this mess. It's literally, I'm just going to pause it so that I can uh, tap, 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 you know, give out new provinces, etc. You don't need to see that. And I've got a couple of other things I need to take care of. So, see you in a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, and I'm better than ever. Let's imprison this guy. Let's not. Um, he's acted dishonorably towards me. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's imprison him. He's fled to the court. Whatever. Um, it just gets him out of the way. Right, I can create a duchy. The duchy of Kerman. I don't really want to. Is that the duchy I just took over? Yeah, the duchy of Kerman. I could create it, but I'm not going to. I can usurp the satrapy of Deerstan, but I don't really want to do that either. Uh, my military is not currently great because I'm an infirm leader who is also over my domain size. My vassals largely like me, especially the ones who I just gave land to. Um, so that's not such a bad deal. Uh, we should be trying to get this guy out of the faction. Um, we should also see if we've just got anybody better. We don't. Um, so other than that, everything looks great. Now, I have just made a save game, so if things go wrong, then I have a, a full back point uh, where I can go and, well, you know, sure, it's not Iron Man mode, 
but I I think this is the best plan. Uh, looks like the Saffrids just surrendered to the Salmonids as well. So they've just taken some land. And this is kind of nice because this means that now I'm not bordering... Oh wait, I wasn't bordering the Dilophids before anyway. But whatever. I'm now only bordering... <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, the Salmonids, the Saffrids, and the Turks. Um, I should actually get around to buying the Turkish face pack DLC. People say it's broken. Uh, Paradox say they fixed it. There's a back and forth about it, as always. But it'd be nice just to see these people looking a bit different from these people. Um, the same way that we look a bit different, and the Indians look a bit different, and the Europeans look a bit different. Um, I'm just going to take a quick look at what's going on. Um, and I'm going to bring you with me because you might be interested in this. This is, might actually just be a very short episode today, just to finish off that war. Um, something I've been meaning to do for a while. I don't really have enough time to do loads and loads of stuff today. Holland is in Iceland. Holland has their capital in Iceland. In fact, Holland only owns... Oh no, Holland does actually own that. That's pretty amazing though. Um, it looks like the leader is Norse, so that's why. That's pretty cool though. I like that. Uh, Cornwall, Wales is, yeah, England, Scotland. Scotland is actually Alba um, because they're Welsh. Welsh kings of Scotland, that's fine. West France, yeah, Aquitaine, Italy, Loth uh, Lotharingia, East France. Yeah. Just, yeah, it's kind of fairly normal apart from the Holland thing, I guess, and the Welsh kings of Scotland. Um, I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to leave the episode there. I've created another retinue, by the way. I'm going to leave the episode there, and but I will come back to it. I guess that's that's my promise for now. I will come back to it. Um, I'm just kind of messing around at the moment. So what's this war about? Uh, it's just a revolt for the Arabian Empire. So I like to see independence revolts, really, but too bad. Indians are doing fine. As long as they're not Muslims, I'm happy. Cool, right, this might be a successful playthrough, guys. It might. No promises. Right, see you next time. See you then. Have a nice